Within CardPoint Online, you have the ability to add additional users and give each user specific permissions within CardPoint. Let's look at how to do it and the options that you have. Inside CardPoint, you'll click on the Administration tab, then the Users sub-tab. Here you'll see a list of users who currently have access to your CardPoint merchant account. If it's your first time here, the only user you'll see is the Super Admin, which is the master login, and it's the same one that is created when you first set up your CardPoint account. To add a new user, you'll click on the New User button. Fill out the first name, last name, and email address so that the new user can create their own password. Be sure to set the correct user type from this drop-down box. Your options are admin or standard user. From a functional standpoint, the admin user has all the same abilities as a super admin. The super admin is simply the first user on your account and cannot be deleted. You'll notice that after selecting admin, there are no other permissions or options to change. So if you want someone to be given access to all reports and full capabilities to run transactions and credits within the virtual terminal, this is the option that you'll use. If you want to restrict permissions, you'll select the standard user. With a standard user, you have the ability to change the location permissions, which is simply the access to multiple merchant accounts if that applies to your business. Remember that CardPoint reporting can link multiple merchant accounts for your business into one reporting tool. Under the site permissions option, you can give standard users the ability to access the virtual terminal. You can choose the options below for additional permissions. Leaving all of them unchecked will simply give the user the ability to run transactions and fill in all of the user fields that you have set for them. The reporting and billing sections work the same way. Leaving the boxes unchecked restricts permission and checking them gives permission to use that feature. Once users are set up, you can always change permissions at any point by going back to the administration then users sub tab. One additional feature of CardPoint is that you can set the dashboard and email notifications for each specific user. Simply click on the name of the user and their profile will populate. The account I'm viewing right now is a super admin account so there's not an option to change the user type but if you're editing anyone other than the super admin a drop down box will show up and you can change them to either admin or standard whichever is applicable. Dashboard and email notification sub tabs are available to you by checking or unchecking the line item that you want to be made available. This set of sub tabs are available for edit after the user is created. Remember that this is customized by the merchant account, which is why you have a merchant account selection dropdown box available to you right here. Finally, if you click on the transaction sub tab, you can see all of the transactions run by that user in a downloadable report. For more on CardPoint, click the link in the description or the tab on the screen. I'm Brian Manning and thanks for watching.